So welcome back to the third part of this um, series. So earlier on, we just completed the we, um, section of this particular drawing. Sorry. So this particular drawing. So we just took a section of each edge, and that's what we've drawn so far, including the stirrups, which is which we determined by the by taking an offset from the outer boundary of the beam. And then we in the last video we stopped here, and here we want to ensure that this is a beam that has a width um, a, a width of 250 and then a, I mean a length of 250 and then width of 100, a depth of 1000. So we can always click on this and right click. Now we go to quick properties and then go to text override and type 1000. And press enter. Okay, sorry. So let's click on this 1000 press enter so that has edited the depth of the beam so what else we need to do is that we need to introduce the bar marks for each of these reinforcements that are represented here so first let me just delete um, these points let me just delete these two points and so uh, that's what we have So now let's um, introduce the. We are going to use the test command. So we are going to write the bar marks. So let's remember that these top reinforcement bars have a bar mark of 18. So let's start by um, typing 18. So let's use the single line and then let's specify the start point. So let's click somewhere here and then let's assume a value of 150. So that should give us the height of the uh, uh, text and then we can take our rotation angle to be zero. So what we have here, we can now introduce a team. And press enter twice so I can shift this I can move it I can move it a little bit let's click on this and then press enter and then specify the base point take it up a little bit now the next step is to copy and replace these other points here so I'll click on this press enter I'll specify my base point and then click and then the first one, second, and then third, and then press enter. So there you have it. We already have our um, numbers, the bar marks. So what about this point here? So we have two, um, three, three here at each point. That is the um, the links or stirrups that have bar mark of zero five. So we go back again and click on this, click on the single line and specify start of start point. You can type here and then the height of 150 and specify the angle of rotation, which is zero. So I can now introduce zero five when I press enter. Now I can move this a little bit to make the work look, look neater. So I can, I can move, click on this, press enter, specify my base point, and then move a little bit out. Now, for me to fill up this point, I just need to take the copy command, copy this, and let me click on this, uh, the auto mode command. So let me click on this, and then press enter specify base point i can pick one value here i can put and then 
input these ones i can close i can close the auto mode again and then make it easier for me to come down here and come down here and i press enter now the same thing applies for the bottom remember the bottom is made up of bar marks of 17. so let's go back and type our text command and then we repeat the same procedure we specify our startup points and then the height of the text and then take the rotation to be zero so we can now type 17 and press enter twice so i can copy this conveniently i can copy this and then press enter I specify my base point so i can introduce 17 to the remaining um, reinforcement so that's what we have there so from what we can see we have introduced our dimensions we have introduced our bar marks representing each of the reinforcements here as it relates to section hh let's not forget to introduce section hh here so let's also use our command text and then uh, use the single line so we can introduce our startup point here we can see h and we go back to our copy click on this press enter specify our base point let me take connect this one so let's have that and press enter now i can also introduce a line from this point to this point indicating that it is for this section and then at the end i can always move all the texts click enter and then specify my base point and then shift it downwards to make it look neater so there you have it so if you have any observations or any questions please feel free to make your comments and also don't forget to click the subscribe button and feel free to share this video with friends thank you and have a nice time